I just watched two fantastic videos. One of them was on the Veritasium channel. And it was in response to another video in which they were... The Veritasium video was analyzing and trying to see if they could replicate the findings from the study that they were citing from the other video. And then the other video was the actual dissemination of the original study. And what it what it showed was something that I've believed to be true but haven't had any empirical evidence or anything like that to back it up. It just it just felt right for a long time. And I think I think a significant number of people would probably probably agree uh, with the idea. So what they did in the, the initial study was they took two study groups, multiple study groups, because there were, there were quite a few different aspects of it. But what they did was they produced this fictional study about a new skin cream that was brought on the, going to be brought on the market and had to be tested. So that in the study that they presented, this fictional study that they presented to these various groups, there were four different quadrants of this study. So one of them was the the one group was people who used the skin cream. And then there was a control group of people who did not use any products. They they didn't use anything. And then it it showed how many people's rashes improved with using the skin cream versus how many got worse with using the skin cream and the same thing with the control group how many improved and how many got worse and then they ask people what do you glean from these numbers and there was a variety of responses, but the graphs of, of the things that they showed was, there's another aspect of this I need to say first. There's something called numeracy, and it's basically, basically describes uh, not your ability to use higher math to figure things out, but your ability to analyze data uh, properly and come to the correct conclusions. Like when you see a graph or a study that's done, when you're seeing raw data, can you process it properly and come to the, the correct um, conclusions? So they determined what these people's numeracy levels were before they presented them with this study. And then on the scale of 1 to 10, being 1 being low in numeracy, 10 being high in numeracy, they plotted how they did on these tests. And it was kind of like a bell curve, you know, as far as numeracy went. So there were fewer people that were really bad at it and fewer people that were really good at it, but the people in the middle, you know, with the regular standard bell curve kind of model. So when they showed these findings to these people, they asked them what they got from it, and a significant number of them, uh, along the numeracy scale, the higher in numeracy they went, the better they were at at, at analyzing the data and coming to the con correct conclusion. The worse they were at numeracy, the worse they did on the thing. So the Veritasium video went out and presented the same study as if it were real to a bunch of random people out in public, and they got the, the same results. It was It's a re reproducible thing. Uh, and it's been, you know, if you watch the TED talk, you realize they put a, it was a fairly rigorous study. So then they had another set of test subjects, again, that, you know, they analyzed their numeracy levels. And with all these test subjects, actually, they also asked them what their political leanings were. Okay, the second study, they replaced the skin cream problem with gun control. So in, in one instance, cities implemented a gun ban 
and then the results were crime increased or decreased. First of all, crime decreased in, in the one study. They instituted gun control and crime decreased. And then in the, the uh, control group, no gun control measures were instituted and crime uh, decreased at varying levels. And then they also, I forgot to say this on the other part, <clears throat> they also reversed these things where the numbers showed that the skin cream not made it better, but made it worse. They flipped the uh, the control thing on it. Not the control, but they flipped the, the headings of the, the study. So in one study, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it, but 200 and something cases, the rash got better, 70 something cases, it got worse. And then another number was like a hundred and something with no skin cream got better and I don't know, 25 or something like that got worse. <clears throat> then they flipped it where those numbers said 200 something people got worse and 70 something got better. And then a hundred something got worse and 120 something got better. So they did the same thing with gun control. They said gun control was instituted in these cities and crime went up. There were more instances of crime. And then in the control groups, the same thing. No gun control was instituted and they showed the same numbers. But what was interesting about this, I, th I think I made that probably more confusing than it needed to be, but... I'm going to link to both of those videos so you can watch them yourself. It's pretty interesting. They're only maybe 15 minutes apiece. What was interesting, their findings were, when you ask a non-political type question like skin cream, people across the studies followed what, sh what the numbers should be. When you institute, when you when you enacted this study with a political topic like gun control, global warming, anything like that, and they did it with a number of different kinds of things, you'll see that in one of the videos. The smarter the people were in the political question, the smarter they were in numer, their numbers didn't continue on the trend towards being more correct. They actually decreased. What their finding was, was political partisanship clouds the judgment of people. Big surprise, right? But what was really surprising about it was the smarter these people were, the more clouded their judgment became. And I, I just thought it was an absolutely fascinating study and presentation. I'm going to link to those videos down below. I don't think I can say anything more about it without making it more confusing than it needs to be. So go watch. I'm going to link to the Veritasium video. Well, I'll link to the, to the uh, original video first. And then I'll link to the Veritasium video where he talks more about it. But both of them are worth watching. Um... I found it fascinating that if you ask people, do you think you're smart, you're going to get the Dunning-Kruger effect where people think they're smarter than they are on the low end and they think they're not as smart as they are on the high end. But people in general think they're smart. People also, in general, think they have the ability to change their mind when presented with factual evidence. These studies showed the exact opposite of that, and it was just absolutely fascinating. Go watch them. Uh, comment down below if you feel like it. But, I don't know, I found it really interesting, and I think some of you will as well. Um... I see examples of this so often of people that just think they're incredibly smart 
and they're incredibly, you know, they know what the facts are. They know this, that, and the other. And in fact, the smarter they are, the dumber they behave. It's pretty interesting, but um, especially when it relates to politics. Anyway, go check it out.